In 2022, alongside the context of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the U.S. military placed great emphasis on military deterrence against China in the South China Sea, maintaining high-intensity activities including close reconnaissance operations, Taiwan Strait Transits, forward presence operations, strategic deterrence, freedom of navigation operations, military exercises and drills and battlefield preparation. During 2022, U.S. military deployed three carrier strike groups, two amphibious ready groups ARGs, 20 bombers, and 12 nuclear attack submarines SSNS in the South China Sea and its surrounding areas, carrying out frequent targeted patrols and drills to strengthen military deterrence against China. In 2022, three CSGS and two ARGs transited through the South China Sea, five times and three times respectively, except for USS Ronald Reagan's 20-day deployment in the South China Sea during July. The other CSG stayed for about 10 days at most, much longer than an average four or five days in 2021. The access route taken by the CSGS was always San Bernardino Strait, Mindoro Strait, Barabac Strait, Verde Island Channel and other straits within the Philippine archipelago. U.S. military has been pushing a lighting carrier concept in recent years to strengthen its power presence. In the Western Pacific, the trend of the U.S. Navy is to promote one plus one, which means to deploy one CSG plus one ARC simultaneously. As to underwater forces, the U.S. military deployed at least 12 SSNS in the Western Pacific. In addition, U.S. Air Force flew 20 sorties of B-52H or B-1B bombers in 11 batches in and out of the Western Pacific area. Of these, at least five sorties of bombers enter the South China Sea. Aerial Close and Reconnaissance In 2022, the U.S. sent about 1,000 sorties of large reconnaissance aircraft of various types into the South China Sea from Osun Base in the South Korea, Kadena Base in Okinawa, Anderson Base in Guam, and Clark Base in the Philippines, reaching the Chinese mainland's territorial airspace on several occasions. Their main tasks were as follows. First, high-profile surveillance of China's military personnel and facilities, focusing on military radar systems along China's southeast coast, the submarine base in Sanya, and Piala aerial and maritime activities. Second, providing intelligence support for U.S. military operations. The U.S. military typically sent multiple reconnaissance aircraft to provide intelligence support during or around operations, such as carrier exercises, bonups, and Taiwan Strait Transit operations. Third, strengthening the proposed battlefield area intelligence level through increased electronic reconnaissance aircraft surveilling. High Altitude Airship Balloon High Altitude Airship Sounding Balloon project was part of a multi-domain sensing system concept which has been under development by the U.S. Army and Marine Corps. It would fill the gap between ground-based, air-based and space-based intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance systems. At least four high-altitude airships were deployed during the U.S.-Philippines exercise Balakat in 2022. Maritime Reconnaissance and Surveillance In 2022, the U.S. military successively deployed four ocean surveillance ships in the South China Sea. They spent a total of 134 ship days operating in the South China Sea. Another three oceanographic survey vessels were deployed for seabed topography, and geomorphology as well as the Marine Meteorological and Hydrological Survey. These three survey vessels spent 205 ship days in the South China Sea. Since 2020, the frequency of the U.S. military's island intrusive fun-ups in the South China Sea has decreased from 9 in 2020 and 8 in 2021 to 4 in 2022. However, the tendency of politicizing FONOPs in conjuncture with major U.S. agenda towards China is more obvious. In 2022, U.S. military has continued to carry out operations in the Taiwan Strait. A number of U.S. warships transiting the Taiwan Strait was nine in total, although the frequency has decreased significantly compared with 12 in 2021. The public hype and political manipulation beyond the physical actions taken greatly increased. US P-8 anti-submarine patrol aircraft flew over the Taiwan Strait three times the same number as in 2021. 
Combined with U.S. legislators and other politicians' frequent visits to Taiwan, U.S. military has made targeted deployments to strengthen the deterrence around the Taiwan Strait against China. The coordination among the different operations carried out in the Taiwan Strait, the South and the East China Sea is clearly strengthening. According to incomplete statistics, in 2022, U.S. military carried out 102 larger-scale exercises, together with thousands of small and medium-scale drills in the South China Sea and surrounding areas. Both the frequency and scale increased compared to 2021. Taking China as an imaginary enemy, U.S. military exercises, subjects included anti-submarine, air defense, mine, and amphibious operations as well as verification actions for new operational concepts. Strengthening forward presence, deployment and operations as the U.S. military's established policy in the South China Sea. In 2023, it is predicted that U.S. military operations in the South China Sea will continue to be strengthened. The influence of Taiwan Strait situations for the U.S. military will increase and the escalation of South China Sea disputes will form excuses for the U.S. to improve its military presence and intervention. Although the U.S. tries to establish guardrails with China, U.S. military operations in the South China Sea increase the risk of friction and conflict between China and the U.S. Operating contrary to the publicized willingness of the Biden administration to enhance crisis management for U.S.-China military competition,